मैथ्स मेला सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक मैथ्स मेला टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास थ्री चैप्टर एट फेयर शेयर पेज वन हंड्रेड सेवन शबनम एंड मुख्ता आर इंजॉइंग देयर लंच ब्रेक हेयर वी हैव टू पिक्चर्स ऑफ शबनम एंड मुख्ता इन स्कूल दे आर हैविंग अ कॉन्वर्सेशन ऑन स्पोर्ट्स डे वन ऑफ दम आस्क्स Do you want chocolates? The other one says, "Yes, please." You have to share your paratha with me. The other one is thinking of paratha. One of them is holding a chocolate, the other one a paratha. How do you think they are going to share the chocolate and the paratha equally? After sharing, one of them says, "It is not fair. You gave me a bigger part." The other one says, "Did I?" The first one says, "These are not equal." The other one says, "We will divide the paratha equally." Think about a strategy that you can use to check whether two pieces are equal or not. Let us discuss. One, how do you share objects equally? Two. Why is Shabnam folding the paratha over itself? Here we have a picture where Shabnam is folding the paratha over itself. She tells Mukta, "I will show you how to do it equally." Page one hundred eight. This is a whole paratha. We have a picture of the whole paratha in a plate. Tick the paratha that has been cut equally. We have three pictures of paratha cut in three different ways here. One of the girls tells us, when one whole is shared equally between two people, each share is called a half. The other one says, how many halves make one whole? Check with some halves. And in the middle of the page, we see two halves of one rectangle. Let us do. One, circle the shapes where half of the hole is shaded. We have five different shapes here. Two, draw a line to show one half of the hole. We have four different shapes here. Page one hundred nine. Three, Shabnam has eaten some chikki from three sides. Tick how much chikki is left. A, less than half. B more than half, C half. We have the picture of chikki here. Four, show by coloring half a chikki that has been eaten from two sides. We have the picture of a chikki here. Five, draw lines to show different ways of making a half. Here we have a dot grid with five figures on it. Six. Complete the whole picture by drawing the other half. Here we have a dot grid with few shapes on it. The shapes are incomplete. Page one hundred ten. Let us explore. Take a rectangular sheet of paper and fold it in half. Find all the different ways to make a half. Take a square piece of paper and fold it in half. Find all the different ways to make a half. On the right side of the page, we have a rectangular and a square piece of paper, and both are being folded in half. Let us discuss. There was an old man with two sons, Amit and Bala. He gave a mango tree, a solar lamp, and a woolen blanket to them. He asked them to share these things among themselves. Amit was a cunning man. He told his brother. Let us share the objects equally. I will keep the fruits. You keep the tree. I will keep the lamp during the night. You can keep it during the day. I will keep the blanket for half the year during winter. You can keep it for half the year during summer. Bala agreed. On the right side of the page, we have a picture of the objects: a tree, a lamp, and a blanket. A mango tree. a solar lamp and a woolen blanket is this a fair way of sharing 
Is there another way to share it fairly? Let us do. Here are some mangoes. Share them equally between the two children. On the right we have a picture of two children. There are some mangoes in one vessel and each of the two children have two empty vessels with them. Teacher's note. Get students to show halves with paper folding in different ways. Please refer to the fraction as one half and not as one out of two. Page 111. Half and double. We have a picture of two girls speaking to one another. They have marbles in front of them. The first girl says, I have half the number of marbles that you have. The second girl replies, I have double the number of marbles that you have. Three is half of six. Six is double of three. Fill in the following blanks using double or half. Again, the two girls are talking. The first girl says, In this round I got four marbles. The second one says, I got eight marbles. After some time, the first girl says, Four marbles are dash of eight marbles. Eight marbles are dash of four marbles. Again, the first girl says, In this round I got ten marbles. The second one says, I got only five marbles. Ten marbles are dash of five marbles. Five marbles are dash of ten marbles. Again, the girl one says, I got twelve marbles this time. Girl two says, In this round I got six marbles. Six marbles are dash of twelve marbles. Twelve marbles are dash of six marbles. Girl one now says, in this round, I got seven marbles. Girl two says, I got thirteen marbles. On a number line, how far is thirteen from the double of seven? How far is five from half of fourteen? We have a number line given here from zero to seventeen with jumps of one. Page 112. Guess who am I? Use the clues to find the right fraction. Tick the correct box from the given three options. 1. I have less than double of three marbles. I have more than half of eight marbles. A. Four marbles. B. Five marbles. C. Six marbles. 2. I have less than double of four marbles. I have more than half of ten marbles. A. Eight marbles. B. Six marbles. C. Three marbles. Here we have a picture of a teacher telling a group of students. When a whole is shared equally among four people, each share is called a quarter. On the right side we have a picture of a quarter. One whole is divided into four equal quarters. What part of the chicky did each get? On the right side we have a picture of a chicky which is cut into four pieces. Each of the four pieces are a quarter. What part of the chicky did each get? How many quarters in a whole? Teacher's note. Students may also say one-fourth or half of half. Teacher could encourage various ways of expressing and help them to come up with precise expressions. Page 113. Let us do. 1. Tick the objects that show quarters. We have four different pictures here. 2. Draw lines to make a quarter of the whole. Again, we have four different objects here. 3. Draw the remaining three quarters and complete the whole. We have two pictures here. 4. Draw the remaining quarters to complete the whole. We have two different objects here. Teacher's note. Discuss how division of a whole into four equal parts leads to pieces of quarter size. Get students to show quarters with paper folding in different ways. Let students convince you that what they folded is actually one quarter of their paper. 
refer to the fraction as one quarter and not as one out of four. Page 114. Half or quarter. Tick the appropriate word to fill the blanks given. Here we have two girls, Shabnam and Mukta, holding pictures of birds. Shabnam has coloured half or a quarter of the birds. Mukta has coloured half or a quarter of the birds. Shabnam has coloured half or double the number of birds that Mukta has coloured. Again we have a picture of two girls, Lakshanya and Pihu, with some flowers. Lakshanya and Pihu have 16 flowers each. Lakshanya tied half or a quarter of her flowers. Pihu tied half or a quarter of her flowers. Lakshanya tied half or double the number of flowers that Pihu tied. Quarters and whole. We have four different pictures here showing one quarter, two quarters, that is half, three quarters and four quarters, that is complete whole. Page 115. Let us do. 1. Take the shapes given here that show three quarters. We have many shapes given here. 2. Colour the shapes given to show the fractions as instructed. We have various shapes given here. They depict two quarters, one quarter, three quarters, four quarters, three quarters, one quarter. Page 116. 3. Draw lines and colour the shapes given here to show the fractions as instructed. We have six different shapes here, giving us two quarters, one quarter, three quarters, four quarters, three quarters and one quarter. 4. Here is a rectangle which shows quarters. Discuss how. We have a picture of a rectangle showing quarters. 5. Show quarters and halves in different ways in the grids given here. Four grids are given to you. 6. Use the fraction puzzle pieces from your book to form a whole. Teacher's note. Let the children use the shapes from the perforated sheet given at the back to do the puzzle. Ask generic questions such as, How many pieces did you use to make one whole? Superimpose the pieces to see that they are exactly the same. Here we see, here we have the different envelopes with different numbers written on them. Identify the number cards inside each of the envelopes. Maths Mela, you were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Gaurav Marwaha and Vasundhara Bose. Sound recording and editing, Vikas Sangwan. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.